Morning, everybody. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great because, boy, we've got an interesting one today, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I never thought back when I started this channel, what was it, like January of 2022? First of all, that I would hit 9K subs, so thank you all for that. Stay tuned for a giveaway announcement. But also that I would be covering a PlayStation fanboy committing a felony in the name of the console wars. Because that is exactly what happened the other day with JTEC TV. Because for those of you who don't know, a few days ago, I think it was the second round of the Microsoft versus FTC hearings. And JTEC, in his infinite wisdom, decided to live stream it and commentate over it. The problem is, it is a felony to stream or record a court case. Doesn't matter if it's audio or video without a judge's permission. And honestly, I'm really excited to talk about everything that happened, but I gotta take my time. I was there in the stream when Jay was freaking out, and I have all the screenshots of the chats he was putting up. Because, okay, Okay, a little bit of context before we get into this. Jay was doing the stream, and then Frit made a Twitter post saying that, oh, JTEC's gonna get in trouble. And then he had a screenshot of Jay's stream, and he had a screenshot of the law saying that, oh, you can't stream it. This caused JTEC to have a panic attack live, and he actually wasn't on the mic for this. He was typing in the chat the whole time, which is what we're gonna be going over here. And what makes this extra hilarious is the entire time he's, like, typing in chat and freaking out and stuff, he is still playing the FTC hearing over his microphone, so you can still hear it the whole time. Instead of just shutting off the stream and deleting it like a rational person would, he basically did the equivalent of what a horror movie protagonist would do, where instead of taking action to stop the inevitable, he's just standing there texting somebody, or in this case, messaging in a chat. So let's get into his little freak out, shall we? Oh god, here we go, alright? I'm about to lock this stream to members only! I'm not going to lose my channel to make you guys happy. Do you want my channel to be deleted? Oh my god. Well, Jay, clearly you want your channel to be deleted considering you're willing to commit a felony over the console wars. I'll be completely honest. If Jay does end up losing his channel, I mean, yeah, I'll be kind of sad about it because I'll lose out of some content. But honestly, I can't really say he won't deserve it. I mean, if you're going to commit a felony over a plastic box, then you kind of deserve what's coming to you. But anyway, let's continue on. And actually, really quick, I apologize. These screenshots might actually be out of order. I got some of the screenshots in, like, reverse order and then some of them in normal. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's hilarious either way. Next FTC stream will be members only. Gotta cover my ass. Sorry. People ruining it for everyone. Now, we'll get into the whole people ruining it for everyone thing in a little bit. Because, obviously, he's talking about Frit right there. Because, who boy, do I have a few things to say on that. But, continuing on. If you want me to keep doing these streams we have to keep it private going forward this crap isn't worth it but jay if this crap isn't worth it then why are you streaming this at all god again there's so much i want to say right now but i'm gonna wait until we're done reading all the screenshots but it's just so baffling to me he knowingly does something illegal and then when somebody points out hey this is illegal then all of a sudden he panics about it but again we'll get into that in a little bit continuing on here no unless you want this channel to get flagged don't no, I'm about to lock this stream to members today. Which, Jay, you actual moron. This actually might make things worse. Like, I'm not even kidding. I actually think that locking the stream to members only would actually be worse. Because think about it. You're already illegally streaming the case. But now you're going to start charging people to watch it with you. So now you directly profit off of it as well. It probably wouldn't be quite as bad if you weren't charging for it. I mean, it's still a felony either way. But now you're actually profiting off of it of it dude you really think that's gonna help your case oh my god again if his channel gets taken down i mean sucks to suck i guess boca audio has been muted for the party chat sorry which again like i said earlier he muted himself and everybody else but he still had the stream playing like the ftc hearing he still had that playing so now on top of illegally streaming it he's not even bothering to commentate over it and like i said earlier i was watching this live and i was screaming in my head like jay just end the stream you idiot stop playing the thing that might get your channel deleted now i would have loved to tell him this in chat and so would spec because we were talking with each other at the time but unfortunately you know he blocked both of us so we couldn't help him out all i could do was sit there and feel a mixture of pain but also joy to an extent because it was hilarious thank you but we keeping this crap private slash for members only going forward okay everyone it's getting locked which as you can see then right here 
he said it's a members only mode and then he eventually deleted the stream took him long enough i mean good lord that's what i was screaming for him to do the entire time but never fear we're not done just yet because this is where we get to the stuff i wanted to talk about before because this is where jay starts to blame frit for everything so as you can see right here snitch alert this is why i deleted the ftc live streams for tango was upset my ftc stream was trending he ruined it for everybody if you want to see the next three live streams you're going to need to become a member and after the stream is done all live streams will be deleted which again now you're charging people to watch it with you which just makes it worse here's an idea jay maybe just don't stream it at all maybe watch it on your own time take notes and then the next day talk about it maybe don't do anything that could risk getting your channel deleted or worse you in actual legal trouble but it's so hilarious that he's saying that fritz snitched no fritz did not snitch at all he never contacted legal authorities or anything he as you can see in the tweet he didn't tag like the fbi or the ftc or anything he just made a twitter post saying that you were gonna get in trouble and then he showed the rules saying that you can't stream it in no way did he snitch on you it's actually hilarious because if you take a look at this screenshot right here jay was actually retweeting people who were posting about jay's stream telling them to go watch it so if we're going by the logic of snitching is contacting authorities then nobody snitched on you or i should say at least frick didn't snitch on you but if we're going by the logic that making a public post about it is snitching then you snitched on yourself because not only did you retweet other people talking about your stream ignoring that your live stream was public you said in the title you were live reacting to it imagine if i put up a sign above an alleyway saying oh i'm gonna mug somebody here then i proceed to mug somebody and then somebody takes a picture of the sign i put up and posts it on social media and says bro what the hell going on in new york and then i said oh you snitched on me no dude you made a public stream you snitched on yourself you're just too stupid to realize it and then as if it couldn't get any worse he also made a twitter post about fritz supposedly snitching on him and on this twitter post he locked the replies you absolute coward and i think the most hilarious thing to me about this whole situation is initially i was like okay he probably doesn't know this is illegal so we should probably tell him but based off his posts after and saying oh fritz snitched on him he knew this was illegal he knew that he was committing a felony and he still went through with it do you know why because he just has to defend the playstation that badly he risked not only his channel but also getting arrested just to protect his favorite plastic box i don't think i've ever seen a situation surrounding the console wars this insane in maybe ever besides maybe that one time that doctor like doxed his patient because he played on xbox or something like that and before we go like i mentioned at the beginning of the video really quickly i want to thank you all so much for 9,000 subscribers we're actually at like 9,200 right now which is insane because i haven't posted in like a week so yeah thank you all so much for that and like i said to celebrate we're going to be doing a giveaway now what's the giveaway you ask well it's just going to be a game any game you want final fantasy tears of the kingdom whatever it is i'll get you the most deluxe version of it possible just don't make it like the starfield collector's edition or something because you know kind of sold out pretty quickly so yeah to enter just subscribe and leave a comment it could be any comment it doesn't have to be requesting the game or anything like that it can just say you're a poopy head which i will take offense to that but i will still put you in nonetheless so yeah anyway guys with that being said thank you all so much for watching like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it subscribe if you want to see more and i will catch you all next time